What's happening? Crypto Farm, happy, happy Friday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott and it's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip my shit. So there. Uh, but the sun's coming out and it's going to fuck my eyes over. I'll end up in sunglasses. So yeah, welcome back. Pleasure. I fucking love doing this. Sorry about no video yesterday. I had a right rant about Bab and then I thought, you know what, I'll give them a couple more days to give me access to the app. And if they don't, then I'm going to go. I'm just going to do the rant. Fuck them. <coughs> Anyhow, to all the people, banks won't use RippleNet. Banks won't use XRP. Arr Ripple scores new remittance partner with the largest state-owned bank in Egypt joining RippleNet. The National Bank of Egypt, the MBE, is now Ripple's newest client. The bank plans to use the company's cross-border payments technology to boost the flow of remittance in the country, according to a press release. The agreement makes the National Bank of Egypt, which is the country's largest state-owned bank, the first in the country to join RippleNet and use blockchain technology. At a signing ceremony, Hisham Okasha, chairman of MBE, said partnership supports the bank's long-term goal of building a thriving remittance business in the Gulf region. The bank is also touting blockchain's ability to limit errors on financial operations and allow users to immediately know the real balance of a given transaction. Before the agreement was signed, the company says it conducted through safety testing coordination with MBE's Information and Security Department to ensure Ripple's tech is sound. The bank has not disclosed whether it's going, uh, whether it's exploring the use of XRP for cross-border transactions. Ripple currently has approximately 300 customers. 24 of those clients say they plan to or already have integrated XRP. See, the, 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 everything's going to go tokenized, right? Everything is going to go, um, whether it's the, the way of a CBDC, whether it's the way of um, cash simply just being tokenized and people not really... Now, central bank digital currency will solely be the central bank's currencies, the currencies of our countries being tokenized. We all know Amazon's going to try and make their own coin. Barcelona are coming up with their own coin. That everyone, there's going to be so many coins, it's going to be unflaming true. Crypto named one of the main main challenges affecting the Euros owned by Christine Lagarde. Right? Crypto climate and change. During her speech, Lagarde singled out digitalization and climate change is the biggest global phenomena that are currently affecting the ECB. She's convinced that they could potentially change the operational environment of central banks. Lagarde called the Euro system task that was created back in January for studying the ins and outs of issuing a central bank digital currency. In particular, we want to assess whether a central bank digital currency could serve a clear purpose for the public and support the ECB's objective. Serve a clear purpose for the public. Are they... Really? Really? Let me tell you how, how blockchain technology and digitising your fucking currency, right, can benefit your public. We've got cash at the moment. Cash in the bank. Great. We can all cash in the bank. It's great, that, isn't it? You can go to the ATM and take cash out and then go and spend it somewhere, can't you? So you've got that value. If you have that value in the bank, when the numbers are visible to the bank and, every, and the wallet is visible to people, that value's on your net worth, goes towards your net worth, right? You can't prove you have that money. It's in the fucking account. Yeah? Take the cash out of the ATM and burn it. Burn it. Go, go and get a tenner, a fiver, a tenner, 20 quid. £50 note, a suitcase of a grand, and burn it. Burn it, mate. <clears throat> and then go to the bank and prove you owned it and tell them you want it back. Tell them you, you, you want that value. 
it's only a piece of papers that got burnt. You burnt IOUs, you didn't burn money. You burnt an IOU that the bank says they'll pro they'll pay you back. They'll pay the bearer back if you produce it at the Bank of England. So go to the Bank of England and say, look, I've just burnt 20 quid, I lost me 20 quid. But it was my 20 quid, I had it, I only just took it out of the bank, can you give me back? Can you print me another one? Can you print me another one, please? Or can you give me some gold or whatever? Because you the, the note said you promised to pay the bearer on. The bank's going to be like, well, you've got to produce the IOU. You could go on about that shit all day. What happens if it's on a ledger and you lose a ledger? Burn your ledger. Go on. Burn your fucking ledger. And go and buy another one. Restore it. And your fucking value still there. You can't... You can't just lose... Your crypto, can you, without throwing it away? A digital currency is there. It's in a wallet. Might not be physical, but it's tangible in a wallet. Yeah? It's the difference between your hard cash in your pocket and the numbers on a screen. It's much, much easier to prove there's money in a wallet or in an account or over there or over there than there is. Try to prove that you had 100 quid, but now you've lost it and you don't know where to go. Fucking, I had 100 quid, me. Imagine losing 100 grand. Talking about on them levels, do you know what I mean? And now I'm not saying people walk about with 100 grand in their pocket, but it's for perspective, for the, for the, for the arguments and debate sake of it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, seriously, burn your 50 quid. Where's the 50 quid? Where's the proof that that 50 pound existed and the bank got the proof? Who, 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 where's the proof? Was like, oh, there's this much money in circulation. There's this much cash in circulation. Like, well, how would you know? How would you know? How are you tracking it? How would you know? So for starters, that's how blockchain helps the people. It, every penny is tracked and accounted for. They need, we need this. An international cooperation, <clears throat> excuse me, Lagarde highlighted that ECB was working together with other central banks to examine how cryptocurrencies can be used for making cross-border payments. We already know, and you already know, you just need, we just need more of them. We've got XRP, the standard, we just need more competitors within the level playing field and internet of value. You know that, Lagarde, you know that, and I know you do. Oh, it's ended quite abruptly, just like that. I hate it when articles do that, like that. Did not expect that to just end. CBDC's tokenization, the digitalization of everything. So, it isn't just current. When, when's the, when's, when's the general public? When's it going to click in a red? That it's much more than currency. Cross currency gives a shit. Remittance payment. I, I, I've got empathy for the people who need that. Don't get me wrong. Some people need to send money here, there, and everywhere. But in the long run, 2023, 2025 onwards, internet of value. We're not saying internet of cash. Let's have that right. We're not saying internet of fiat currencies. Internet of value. Everything of value. So if I have my own personal ledger, sorry about that little bit of spit there. If I have my own personal ledger and it's value, smart contracts, the lot, it's on, running on hyper ledger, and I want to sell this, I want to sell this, I want to sell that on eBay, my little bowl, some yoga, yoga room, pillow, cushion. So if I want to sell that, I can stitch a new ting on it. Yeah, that has a QR code. Write up a smart contract of it. Sell the smart contract, which is me selling the cushion, and then logistically it goes to the new owner, or I hold it for them. Now you're going to be able to do that with mobile phones, ashtrays, cans of coke, bullions of gold, bullions of silver, barrels of oil. You're going to be able to do it with everything. There's going to be a QR on it. You're going to be able to scan it. It's going to tell you who owns it, where it came from, where it's going. Who brought it here. Who's taking it there. What temperature it's been. What roads did it go down. How many times it stopped. Did the back doors of the truck open. No shit like that. 
It's all getting trapped. All going to be trapped to fuck in the future. Yeah? Get a wagon full of Chinese through the country then, mate. You horrible bastards. People in vans. But that's the kind of shit that's going to stop. Because you won't be able to do it. Won't, won't, the, the, for starters, the van won't fucking move. Unless it's all legit in the end when they're self-driving. But logistically, it's not just going to change the currency game. It's what I'm trying to get at. The internet of value is everything of value being anything and everything of value being traded it will have a contract a smart contract dictating it and if it's not a currency that lands in a wallet right where you've got ones and knots not point one of a currency you can have half of the coin you can have one bitcoin you can have full currency you can pounds dollars australian dollars canadian dollars peso yen yuan whatever whatever right currencies can go in wallets where everything else that isn't really a number, it's a physical item, it could be a couch, it could be a car, it could be a gold bullion, needs a smart contract attached to verify ownership. We'll also have a smart contract attached for, the, like I say, the logistical aspect. It's going off this year, and if you don't believe it is, then... More fool you because you can clearly see things happening. The Federal Reserve Chairman um, going on about going on about Libra and stuff. We've got Bank of Egypt, Christine Lagarde, the ECB. We've had MoneyGram, um, we've had MoneyGram announcements lately. It's all moving, and I understand it's moving relatively slowly. Because it is just nothing but currency, but I keep trying to tell people, wait till 2023 onwards. Now, that, that isn't me saying it's not you're not going to get some gains by 2023. It could be fucking $10 by 2023. I don't know. What I am saying is post-2023, whatever gains we've got by 2023, <laughs> they're nothing. They are nothing. Compared to the gains we're going to get between 2025 and 2030. When, like I say, everything else of value starts going through ILP and not just currencies. I can't wait to sit down with each thing to see how he thinks it's going to go. How does he think everything's going to be trapped? Um, everything of value will be trapped through ILP. Is he preparing to get Zoom ready to add some features? Tap into Everledger so you can own some some diamonds, tap into a fucking gold reserve so you can own some of the newly digitised smart contract gold. Do you know what I mean? What What is going to happen truly with the internet of value? We can kind of see where it's going to go and we're being told anything of value is going to be able to be pushed through it. But first one to hold my hands up me, don't know shit about coding. Don't know really know fuck all about how, how the fucking layers of, of, of ILP work, I can explain it, I can read through the fucking documents, but it's not like I can go off and make me own, so there's levels of expertise here, and I'd like to think that we're about intermediate, and we're going to get to experts, so we actually fucking know. So I'm going to speak to Vietzvin soon about that, hopefully, and it hopefully will be a live stream, after Zoom's out, be a little bit of an exclusive, what it is, how to use it, where it's going, what his plans are with it, what his vision is, what his thoughts are. Um, he will also then be presenting at DLT Con down the line when the app's been out a little bit um, for, for several weeks instead of just a couple of weeks. So it's exciting times. Grab your ticket for DLT Con if you want to wear that because it won't be streamed. It will be being streamed at the event. It won't be online. Exciting times. Exciting times. Keep your chin up. And... Um, just, uh, just plod along, be patient, continue investing. Buy them dips, baby. Buy them dips. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Last day in work, today, unless you work tomorrow. Uh, good luck, smash it. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto, we love XRP, and we love you. Have a great weekend, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Thank you. Give us a cheeky like. Thumbs up and um, share it with your mates. Means a lot.
Cheers and peace out.